Hi, and welcome to Boomer Gaming by Duncanus. Today I want to talk about the system currently used to determine who are the top 750 players in the game who will be ranked as Apex Predators. I've come across many elite players who get to Masters very early in the split, but are simply too burned out to try and grind for Pred every season. Let's talk about how I think that system could be improved. The main issue I see with the current design is that it mostly rewards those who play the most hours. Now I would think that no matter the system used, the top 10 to 20 players would probably end up being the same people. These best of the best are there because they play so many hours of ranked play and are extremely talented. And any player who makes it to Masters and continues to gain points is clearly one of a very select group of players who can compete at that level. However, the difference between the bottom 500 plus players in Pred and many other Masters level players is the amount of time they commit to accumulating points, rather than whether they are consistently better than other Masters players. What I would propose as a better system is to take a certain number of consecutive games for which the player has accumulated the most points, and use that for determining rank. For example, if we were to take the best consecutive 20 games by any one player during the split, and compare that, we would then know who was able to sustain the higher level of points gained consistently. Let's say that a player takes a week to get to Masters, and then plays 100 games over the remaining 5 weeks of the split in Masters lobbies, and from game 45 to 64 they accumulated let's say 1700 points. If they had 2 max KP wins in games 65 and 66, they might bump their points up to say 1950 points for games 47 to 66, and this would be their new rank. Even if they never win or play another game for the rest of the split, their current position will be based on the 1950 points for that split. With this approach, the max RP you could earn for Pred status would be 3800 points, 250 minus 60 at 190 times 20 games. If two players have the same number of points, you could just declare a tie, or you could do a countback system similar to the way golf works, where points gained in later games count for more. So if you get more points than the other player in the last 10 games, you are placed higher in the rankings. If it's still a tie, you go to the last 5, and then the last 4, 3, 2, and 1. The reason to use the later games is that if you're on a good run of games, there will be more and more pressure to score well as you approach the 20th game in a good streak. To determine the exact number of games for a sequence, Respawn would need to look at data from previous splits to identify the number of games that would give a good distribution of points. I feel that this system would better determine the most consistently high quality players, while still allowing players to grind for better scores if they want. However, a player who reaches a high level Pred position could take a break without expecting everyone to move past them, just for time played. I believe this will help considerably with burnout amongst the best players and top streamers, and help keep the game healthier and popular. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and if you have strong opinions one way or the other, Comment below or come talk to me about it on my Twitch channel at Twitch slash Duncanus or on my TikTok live streams at Duncanus TV. Details and times I stream are in the description below. Thanks for your time and happy gaming. I got craved.